they hitting you with a mopping stick. You guys know how mopping stick is. Before that mopping stick will break into two, you should know that it has it is you know severe, like serious hitting, you know. Hi guys, welcome once again to my channel, to our channel, okay? Because now we are running it together, you guys. <laughs> to my returning subscribers, I love you guys so much. Thank you so, so much for this love and support. See, I see you all. And to my new subscribers, you, you guys are just so, so, so amazing. I don't know where it is coming from, you guys. I don't know why everything they, they eat have to be sour. Like, it's always having a this sour taste and I don't really like it at all anyway this is the spawn yeah and that's the fries it's pork actually and a tissue I have my tissue box here anyways and this is the meal itself okay and this is just chicken and another fries extra fries oh this is shrimps you guys <gasps> I love it mmm The shrimp is so so good. This has the sauces. This is mayonnaise with some spices. And this is mayonnaise itself. I feel like the lighting is I don't know. Today's video I just wanna share some light on you know how they treat some housemaid because it's on a story a particular I'm not gonna mention her name. Well, I'm sure she will know I'm talking about her when she will get to find out this video. Yeah. So, when we first came to Saudi Arabia, I came with some set of people. We were, I can't really count, but they put us into, into batches. Some people went first, some people went Tuesday, some people went Thursday. But I came with me, um, mm -mm, mm -mm, I think five of us. I came with them. Yeah. When we come just here, you know, first before you prepare to come to Saudi Arabia, you go to the agent, the who call of you are. I mean, you are like girls, right? It doesn't really matter. You stay in the hotel. Yeah, they put us in a hotel. Yeah, we spend some time there going for the checkups, the running all the necessary tests that needs to be done for the processing. Yeah, we did all of that, and they started to depart us to you know from gold when you can go digging some people were sent back home for some reason yeah you know as nigerian some of them were saying to to retry whatsoever i'm not somebody that really believes in such a thing yeah but when we got here we finally saw ourselves you know when we got to saudi arabia we saw ourselves like oh finally we are all here you know stuff like that you guys it was the best moment of my life me arriving to saudi arabia Oh my goodness, it was I could vividly remember you guys. Even now I'm trying to like I'm perceiving that aroma, you know. I don't know if it happens with you guys also, but I try to live in a memory anytime I want through the aroma of that period. Does that make sense? I don't know. You know, like how you remember a person through a scent from them or a body or a body spray they are used to, like you I don't know, Sha. You understand what I'm saying or no? Okay, I mean anyways. So we got here, everybody started to go to war. We started to, anyways, we stayed in the hostel of the company in Riyadh. Yeah, we landed in Riyadh, not in Jeddah. When now I'm in Jeddah. So we landed in Riyadh. We stayed there, they gave us money. Yeah, we were staying even though we didn't go to work. They paid us, everything was fine. We ate well. In fact, it was the best time of my life, you guys. Not only everybody started to go to their madam house, their various clients' house to work. So we started to hear news of course they restricted some people from using their phones in their madam's house okay but i and my group we're not just lucky to work in Riyadh. yeah probably see there's a way god works that you just that's just me anyways but before i do anything in this my life i'm like that's life nothing is serious we're all gonna die yeah and, you know a lot of things went wrong in the hostel back in then in Riyadh when we first came we separated with the supervisors. We had a lot of fights, you know. She couldn't, she wasn't able to control us. Everything was upside down. You guys, Nigerians, we are stubborn. We are really, really stubborn. We gave her a headache, tough one, anyways. 
and so so i think she she could like with the coordinators of the the job then and they sent they divided us into parts and sent most of us to Jeddah, which is where i am right now and most of us most of them remained in there in um riyadh so like so when we got here we still reach ourselves you know we talk we did everything and there's a girl <laughs> It's funny, but then it wasn't really funny. But now like, it's, it's funny because she's she's back to Nigeria, yeah. And so you know, this girl, let's call her Princess. I'm sorry, I'm not looking to, looking at you guys. Just for the getting to my call. So let's call her Princess, okay? So Princess got to her workplace. She left us before we we were to we we, we got to our own client's place, yeah. How they do it is we. We wake up every morning we're still in the hostel okay everybody has their various bread like i am on my bed okay we had our closets like this one also in the the hostel everybody had their it's like a very large room but a bunch of beds you know as hostels you know what i'm saying yeah so they threatened to throw us back to reality they were just taking us back and forth back and forth you know they didn't know what they wanted to do with us they're just throwing us go here come here go here come here there but the good thing about the whole thing was that i got my money yeah I spent good three months without working, not just me, me and my batch that we came here, yeah? without working and we got paid. So you guys, last last, it depends on the company you came in from and people you work for, okay? So, not only did everything went wrong when they took her to her client's house, you guys. So we've been hearing her complain, so due to, you know, with the supervisor we met and get that again, far coming from real. It's it's not similar with the one in Riyadh, yeah? So, we came to Jeddah, we met another supervisor, so yeah. But I'm sure they would have been fighting for a long time and probably it just got out of hand that day, yeah? I think the madam has been hitting her with, I think, mopping stick. She said like this to us when she got back, because she was really crying. The day we brought her back to the office, you know? was trying to retaliate to save herself you guys somebody hitting you with a mopping stick you guys know how mopping stick is because that mopping stick will break into two you know that it has it is you know severe like serious hitting you know and when she started to retaliate they called the office as usual you know they called the office and they laid complaint she was laying at home her own controller when she was trying to retaliate the woman took her phone and broke it yes the phone was broken and yeah they didn't buy her a new one so, during that time, that girl wanted to go back to her country, Nigeria, yeah, but everything was fine again. They took her to another place. Anyway, that woman, they stopped her from, you know, coming to the, to the company to, to order for housemaid. I mean, what else can I say? Order, yeah. They are paying in exchange for us, yeah. So, they are ordering us. <laughs> anyway, you guys. That is it for princess. So there was another girl. Let's call her. Hmm. Let's call her. Risi Katz. Okay. So Risi Katz was. She wasn't among my batch. Yeah. And. She wasn't among my batch. But we came to Jeddah. To meet her in Jeddah. Probably she was also in the Riyadh before. And they transferred her to Jeddah. Like they transferred us also so we came and we just saw that you know she was always alone sitting alone you know not until we heard the news that she stole you guys that she stole gold jewelries or whatsoever it is from her but it's house you know and when you're with a company the people you work for are real Saudians, okay not foreigners yeah deportation at that time was like you taking a death sentence I don't know do you understand what i'm saying like it was like you know everybody just staring at you oh my god they're going to deport her like it was she was big deal <laughs> you guys it was a big deal then even though there was a time i cried for her because the way you know a manner that she was treated then you know she always stayed by herself she like see i don't prefer anybody to go through such a thing yeah we it was our first time to travel like our first time to be in and our country so we didn't know what to do we were just 
you know nobody wants to get deported with her you know probably they told them not to go close to her we, we just came we didn't know anything yeah so everything was like we we're just staring at her from afar i mean what it concerned is everything <laughs> i didn't even go close so the day they wanted to deport her they didn't tell her you know the, the worst part of it she didn't know that she was going to be deported you guys she didn't know she was going to be deported nobody told her yes she knew they caught her she stole but it was like they were punishing her you know she was in the hostel they didn't take her to any job but they didn't know that they were going to she didn't know sorry that they were going to deport her you guys it was that bad just remembering everything is just like how time flies you guys it was really a sad moment everybody was damn serious i think that was the one that was one of the reasons i stayed in that my first madame's house i spent almost one year a month month you guys one year plus in a house a three-story building when i'm the only one i, I didn't go there I, I had no off days i didn't go out they don't take me out you know when they're going they lock the door from inside outside huh. and i told you guys my room was at the rooftop the rooftop sorry so it was guys i don't know it was like a sweet and bitter experience sort of i don't know <laughs> but i think i loved every bit of it i loved 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 every bit of it you guys because hmm, saudi has really really taught me a lot okay it has really taught me a lot there's a lot of things that went on during that time that i can't even remember when i do i'm still going to share it with you guys okay um that is it um for princess and risk cat mm -hmm. but now they are doing amazingly well but in another country i just just i'm telling you about they're doing amazingly well nothing happened well you felt like an outcast in the midst of their fellow nigerians in another country yeah but they are doing amazingly well you guys trust me oh huh? thank you so much for watching and so so much for always supporting me i love you guys this video is awkward because i haven't been looking at you guys i'm sorry i'm just gushing at myself i'm so beautiful yeah so thank you guys so much for supporting me and i need to finish this food and go to bed i'm tired tomorrow is another day god bless you keep supporting me stay blessed stay focused and stay safe i love you guys bye